Ang papalabas ko po sa inyo ngayon ay yung ating mga numbers tungkol sa basic education. At alam nyo po, ang mga numero ay nagsasabi ng isang kwento na maaari natin mapag, na ma, magamit natin haba tayo ay lumalakbay, haba tayo ay naglalayag. Higit na ngayon doon sa malalim na, na napapalao tayo ngayon. These are the numbers of basic education in big pictures, in the big picture. So we'll go to the next slide, please. Uh, private school closures have been very much prevalent here in our, in our, in the nation, given that there has been the pandemic. On August 24, 440 private schools signified that they would be closing. By September 9, it went up to 676. And just at the start of the week, DepEd mentioned that it is already moving towards 865. What we also have here would be by October 5, public schools will open and we don't know what kind of environment would there be. We know also that in one of the schools which is close by at the near de Manila, a class size of 42 has now gone, gone down to around 27. So it hits really, really close to home. Next slide will show that the summary of JBEC schools all over the Philippines, and here we will talk about it in number, would be these. Ateneo de Manila having a negative 1.9%. Naga, negative 0.33%. Saber School, negative 2.98%. Saber School in New Valley, in Santa Rosa, Laguna, 3.35% increase. Loyola School, Loyola College of Culion, negative 4.12. That's a decrease. In the Visayas, it hits a little bit harder. In Iloilo, it's negative 4.12. In Sacred Heart, in Cebu, it's negative 10.69. In Mindanao, it also seems the same. But in Davao, it's negative 5.59%. Zamboanga, negative 8.10. And XU in Cagayan de Oro, negative 7.30. In Apu Palamguan, in Bendum, in, Bukid, in Agusan, it's an increase of 43.24%. Mainly because they did not charge tuition for the year. We don't know how it will go, but it's the it's the experiment that they're doing. But that would be the case in terms of the numbers. If we're going a little bit closer into what we have in terms of Ateneo de Manila, grade school experiences a negative point eight negative point thirty eight point thirty eight percent. Junior high school has a little bit of increase by point zero one five percent. And senior high school experiences a negative point three, a negative three point seventy eight percent. What do we have? We have also this in terms of or the Ateneo de Manila now has uh, this would be the difference towards the years from last year to this year. You will see that there would be a difference of negative six point three in the grade school an increase of 0.76 in the high school and also an increase of 2.95. The Nade Manila would count as negative 1.9 as mentioned to the, previous, to the previous one. What do these numbers tell us? These numbers tell us as we compare ourselves to other schools that our numbers are good, but also our numbers might be a little bit like we are in a bubble because we find ourselves not at the same trend as the other schools in the country. We also have this as a blessing. It means that people do trust us even at this time. But as all as these are blessings as well, it, we might have to be extra sensitive to what is happening around us. And we also have to be sensitive to what is happening to, to us as senior high school in particular. My dear friends, these are trying moments. These are also moments when we can see that the heroism in each one will have to find its new story, its new meaning, because these are uncharted waters at that. There's only one thing that I would like to tell you at this moment. Is 
that would be to hold fast, to continue to move on, not forgetting that you are not alone as you journey. Senior high school would also have new things for this year. Take note if it's not just something that we lose as we journey, but there are a lot of things that we gain, new skills, new friends, new methods in teaching. By the time we get back to shore, we may find ourselves having a little bit more. Learn from this year, as it is also a moment when we find ourselves trying to make meaning. But most of all, thank you very much for journeying with us in this year of online learning, in this year with Ateneo Senior High School. Maraming salamat po, and may God continue to bless you as you journey on this year.